Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. I wanted to let you know that the Tasso Football Waco chapter is looking for officiants for this year's high school football season. They'll be hosting meetings every Tuesday in June at 6.30 p.m. at MCC's main campus. For more information, visit Tasso.org or call Joe Martinez at 512-484-4611. Don't miss out on this rewarding avocation experience, especially if you're a football fan. Thank you guys again for watching. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to thank you guys again so much for all the continued love and support that you guys show this podcast. I truly appreciate you guys, of course. Shout out to Mike and Allison at Rogue Media Network, and of course, Jeffrey too, that snack, for editing all my episodes and then shooting them. You guys are the greatest. Thank you guys so much. Before we continue with this really, really great episode that they I know can't wait to start. Um, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to you by Four Builders Construction with my boy Joe Olvera, who provides custom home designs and renovations. He also focuses on roofing, remodeling, plumbing, tree removal, electrical work, and so much more. Darling Joe and his entire team of delicious men are building affordable dream homes for you. So make sure you call them on the number on the screen for your next consultation. Thank you, Joe, for all the love and support that you've shown this show. I truly appreciate you. Of course, the B&J refinishing with my boy Frank Biza, who focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality. He offers five-year warranty on most work and has the best prices in town, but Frank doesn't stop there because he also rents inflatables, mechanical bowls, margarita machines, tables, chairs, a foam machine, and so much more, making all your parties super-duper Lady Kitty. To my boy, Frank Baiza, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Ooh, of course, to my bro, David Santavanez with Alinea Real Estate. I should say the number one sales agent at Alinea Real Estate. to help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea. Call the number on the screen darling for all your real estate needs my bro david is absolutely the goat congratulations to all your successes and thank you so much for being a longtime sponsor of the public affair of course ooh, to peewee's crab cakes on the go of texas oh my girl nika armstrong serving the most authentic Asian cuisine darling with a wide selection of signature crab cakes pasta seafood and more now my favorite of course now is the crabby seafood pasta it became my favorite just recently their top recommended is the southern fried catfish special served with seafood pasta potato salad six fried shrimp and the fish is topped with huda sauce but i'm not going to tell you what it is because you got to head over to 108 Gym Drive in Hewitt or order online at order peewees crab cakes on the go.com definitely where I'm heading for dinner later on tonight I love me some peewees thank you so much to my girl Anika for sponsoring this episode of course the Sonia's event planning and rentals with Sonia Childers she's an event planner that specializes in weddings quinceañeras baby showers corporate events and so much more now she's appointments only so take the stress of planning your event off your shoulders and reach out to schedule a consultation at Childers 1994 at yahoo.com or call the number on the screen my girl Sonia is a professional professional I worked with her firsthand. She gave me that delicious chair for my photo shoot. She was there before me, two hours before. I love it. <laughs> very punctual, very professional. Thank you so much, Sonia. And of course, to Waco fencing and stuff with my boy Juan Morales. Now, Juan builds privacy fences and chain link fences. Perfect for all that extra at-home privacy that you need. He also builds wood decks, stone patios, and gorgeous flower beds, darling. Contact him on the number on the screen for your consultation. My boy Juan Morales, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Truly appreciate you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Your read and fluency <laughs> is so great. No. <laughs> I okay, just no. did a full evaluation during no, that, no, and we, you have we, great reading. We fluency. can't say anything until no, you can't. Can't. no, no, oh, because I, I literally had to start taking notes. <laughs> Uh, okay. Literally. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I smell you guys staring at me. So no. <laughs> we were so. Sh- we wait. can't even get our normal introduction out. No. And that's just like, hi. 
Okay. I, guess you... I don't even know when to start. Well, okay, well let's just, that, that's starting. We're starting right there. Okay. okay. Um, as you guys can see, I have two very eccentric women on the podcast <laughs> that I've been really wanting to get onto the show for a long time. And this has been well overdue. Um, I don't listen to too many podcasts, but I have listened to the Bloody Happy Hour because it's definitely making tons of noise. And it's about true crime. And we all love some slutty true crime. And these girls had me on their show way back when. And I am so honored to have them onto the public affair. They're doing big things. And I love to welcome the host of the Bloody Happy Hour podcast, Miss April Nicole Pullen and Caroline Wolf. Oh, you Lord. Wow. Yeah. That's my whole name. Yes. Because, you know, you've been a bad girl since I got here. So I got to call you by your full name. All right. <laughs> they were being super slutty right before I walked in. And I was, yes, please. Yes. Caroline said that she was lost her keys. Last week. That's when I was super slutty. I'm slutty like all the time. I don't even care. Like, okay. I've, I've, you know, I've lost morals, Caroline. I don't, I don't okay. give a shit anymore. That's I, it. First of all, let me address what just happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, we're a little amazed. Right. First of all, not only am I shook, <laughs> now I'm hungry. I want to redo my entire house in my front yard and garden. I want to yes. I throw, throw a party. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like you just had multiple orgasms. Uh, wow. <laughs> You know what? That app that happens sometimes because um, the, those sponsors are fine, actually. Wait, can I tell yeah. you they work? Because mm-hmm. my husband just had a consultation with Joe from Four Brothers Construction. Oh, I love Joe. Isn't he a snack? Um, <laughs> can I get a peewee? Peewee's? Peewee's Crab Cakes of yeah. Texas? Bruh, Girl. Have you been no. yet? Oh, yes. I want to go. Oh, my God. They're so delicious. I went yes. with, well, um... <laughs> I'm, I'm maybe a sister wife. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is why I had them on the show, you guys. Okay. Maybe a sister wife. Okay. Maybe I watch some people's kids. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then they treat me to dinner. Oh. <laughs> what happens after dinner? Well, it's a 5.30 dinner, so bed. it's not really okay. a dinner. But so it's not romantic at all. No, it's not. It's <laughs> okay. two little kids. Yeah. Okay. 5.30 side piece time, by the way. Uh, yeah. Okay, we know, girl. So I'm okay. like, I'm like I'm basically your sister wife. And then yeah. so they're like, we're going to peewees. And I was like, okay, what the fuck is peewee? Like, I don't yeah. know what's peewee. Um, and then I go there and it's so good. It's so good. Immaculate. Oh my goodness. It's like I've been Cajun food. It's yeah. Cajun food. Yeah. I've been trying to get her on the show too. We just haven't been able to coordinate time. But yes, I love Anika. And she She's, spots her us. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> want her and her food. She is so great. Well, first of all, can I just say that? Th- first of all, thank you for the kind compliments. I really appreciate it. I've got more to come. But, um, you know, <laughs> I, sure I just, I, I really am, um, first of all, congratulations. Like, I really feel like the Bloody Happy Hour podcast is totally making tons of noise. I feel like a lot more people are watching or listening, I should say. Yeah. Um, you know, I my my cousin's wife Jennifer hit me up and she's a huge fan of your podcast. Okay, and she was listening to our episode. She goes, "When were you on their show?" I was like, "That day." You know? <laughs> that day, yes, you, just you know. And you, you, I, I think what really sticks out is sure, there's lots of true crime podcasts, of course, but with you ladies, you guys are just so unfiltered, and you kind of you bring this sense of humor to it that yes. probably during that time of people's lives, it was not humorous at all. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you guys are just able to just find this really great humor behind everything that happens in all these true stories. So. And we try not at the victim's expense, of right. course. It's you have to laugh or you're gonna cry about it, right. I think. And so it's true crime slash comedy. It's yeah. everybody doesn't like that. Like some people are real serious. Right, please, whatever. But are. we <laughs> it's happy hour. Yeah. We like to pour our drinks. We got some Which tequila you need to do, right yes, now. You got some, I'll do it while you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> and we like to tell our stories just like we would if we were sitting at the bar at happy hour. Well, right. that's the thing, like when we were trying to decide like what we were gonna name it, it was uh-huh. like I want to bring a little fun into it because yeah. I can't, I can't, I don't have like emotions and I yeah. can't be like so serious all the time. So I yeah. need to lighten the mood. Isn't that why slut life is so easy? <laughs> okay. Living it. Like, I, that's why I don't even give a fuck. Like, actually, <laughs> actually, Caroline just bought a chastity belt. So oh, shit. she's not going to host a show <laughs> yeah. as of seven days, actually. Yeah. Right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I resisted my yes. husband showed us for <laughs> one whole day. Right. Now, you did state that you had keys hidden up your ass. So if you can pull them out okay. during the show, I'd really I appreciate tell that. You, I literally went to work. I got out of the car. I was yes. like, where's my keys? And I was like, I don't know. I'm sure they're somewhere. And then right. I get here and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I forgot. I still don't know where my keys are. But you have to have the keys to drive right. the car. And then Mike's like, obviously, they're in your ass. And I was like, oh, well, I didn't check there. there so Mike, she does take Mike, Ambien to go to bed. Oh, and you know you do shit. You be doing shit. Yes. Yeah, you know, I'd be so. taking that melatonin and be waking up in all kinds of sides. So Listen, I don't know. I have people calling me <laughs> yes. and they're naked calling. And they're doing all these things. Cheryl, Cheryl, we call. Okay. First of all, can we just take a shot, ladies? Oh, Thank you guys absolutely. so much for being a part. I'm honored. Thank you so much. Don't spill on my iPad. I'm still making payments. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Patron, oh my God, tequila. Oh, I'm sliding in DMs tonight. <laughs> All right, ladies, um, without further ado, can you guys just introduce yourselves to us? So for people who may not know who you are, um, April, can we start with you, please? I almost called you Amanda because of the shot. <laughs> Sometimes I call her Rachel, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. So I'm April, and I'm one of the hosts. But during the day, I work in education. I'm oh. in special education. Okay. Yes. I'm what you call an educational diagnostician, so I'll test the kids. Yeah. Um, to see if they qualify for services. Oh, services yeah. as in special education? Yes. Oh, okay, or dyslexia. Got you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then so then. Which I'm... obviously you do not qualify because your reading was so good. I did a no. full evaluation just now. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I wasn't passing tests like that in school. That's for damn sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I do have to say that uh -huh. I thought. You read that one time, and that was just a pre-recorded oh, thing. Oh, no, no, no. You I do, read it yeah, every time? Every single time. I promise my sponsors and part of the package that they get free, like, not free, uh, fresh advertisement. Yeah, yeah. Because, that, you know, it sounds boring when it's yeah. recorded. I like their little flavor. And some, each time is different. It's it a was different, great. Like, Pee Wee's is a different experience. Every time I see Joe, it's a different experience. You know what yes. I mean? So, yeah, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm sorry, um, Caroline, while you're over there well, just I'm, finding your I'm, keys. I'm glad. I'm still looking for my keys. Sorry. She's drunk. Okay. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I'm just kind of glad that you just said what you were because I'm always like, they're like, what does April do? And I'm like, I mean, she works at a school. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know what she does. <laughs> so you didn't know that about your co-host? Well, I think she like, worked at a school and diagnosed kids and stuff, but yeah. I didn't really know what it was called. <laughs> but I also just learned a lot about her family, like okay. every day. I mean, there's a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, I work at Neighborly. Do you know what Neighborly no. is? No. So have you heard of the Dwyer Group? Yes. Okay. She was on um, that, that show. Uh, Undercover, Undercover Boss. Boss. Yeah, so I met her. She's nice. It's That's what it is. That's what, they okay. changed names yeah, years sure. ago. So I work there and I do things for them. <laughs> you know, I don't tell everybody where I work. There's some people that I just still have a full-time job as well. And oh. everybody wants me to quit and do this full time, but there's just like really no reason to do so. Yeah. Because yeah, the full time like job really caters to my schedule, which I really love. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like yes. perfect. I can yes. have both. It's like it's like double dipping. You know, I'm already a side piece, so it's like whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm also like a uh, full time I would well, for the past six weeks I've been in court. Oh, okay. Uh oh. I've been in court. <laughs> I've been attending the uh Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Oh, She's so obsessed. Oh, oh okay. I, I thought she literally meant she was in court. No, like, I yeah. literally yeah. like when I'm in the she office, she is. I yeah. have to hold a sign up because people come and try to talk to me because yeah. obviously I'm popular. Oh, okay. And I have to hold a sign up. And I'm like, um, bitches, I'm in court. Yeah, do okay. not interrupt. Don't fucking talk to <laughs> do me. Not no. Do not interrupt I these actually, proceedings. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I already have two shirts. Yeah. And I'm gonna help them. Right. Their so how do you feel about that? What's going what's going on? Who's winning? Um, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is Johnny Depp. Yeah. yeah, this bitch I did is crazy. See the, yeah, I saw that lawyer reading her for filth, that poor thing, on TV. Like, that's embarrassing. What if any? <laughs> what if anything? What yeah. if any? Elaine. <laughs> so you guys are both from here in Waco. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. So I guess life growing up for both. Have you guys known each other for a long time? Were you, like, childhood friends? Or did you just meet? Or So we worked together uh -huh. with Camp Gladiator. You've heard Camp, oh, Gladiator. Heard Camp yeah, Gladiator. Yeah, we were both trainers for years, and we just... Bonded. Obviously, okay. we both like to have a little fun. Yes. Um, and then we bonded over true crime. Oh, yes. She okay. has a more personal story than I no, have. No, yeah, no. So, yeah, like, you would always be talking about, like, true crime and murder stuff. And mm -hmm. I was, and then she was, when I got married, she was like, your husband reminds me of Ted Bundy. And I was like, oh, my gosh, who's Ted Bundy? Like, I don't even know the oh, story. Wow, I didn't even yeah. know at the point, uh -huh. at the time. Yeah. And then she even told him, she's like, oh, you can't remind me of Ted Bundy. Uh, oh, and I'm like, oh, yeah. that's good. And then I was like, no, it's, he's pretty much a murderer. Yeah. And... Pretty much turns out he almost was Ted Bundy. Yeah, just oh, wow. about. Yeah. Did, I like, mean, he, he didn't, didn't murder decapitate. anybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he was crazy? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. these dudes ain't shit. Like, okay. Just to put that <laughs> no, out there. That's no. why I objectify the shit out of them. They just oh, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. We, we, we do talk yes. about it on the podcast. We call him Dirty Chad. We call him Dirty Chad uh, who, just to conceal his identity. Is he from here? He oh, is yeah. from here. Oh, shit. I need yes. to know who this person is. We can't say it on the show? Um, No. Oh, okay. Mm. I don't care. You don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> but April's well, trying but to we are the gonna brand. do, okay. yeah. But we are gonna do like a series and she's uh -huh. gonna put herself out there like from how they met and then how uh. those lies started revealing. Oh. It's like just a dirty figure out how to do it. Yeah. So is dirty Chad like an ex of yours? Yes. It's her ex husband. No. It's your ex -husband. Yeah. We were married oh. for one whole year and a month. Wow. One whole year plus one month. For, first of all, but was, the was damage he... that was done. Yes. Basically we Got separated over. Well, not only did he lie about me, lie about jobs. He lied about 
Uh, mm. He stole money from me. He stole jewelry from me, and then he had a cocaine overdose. So that no. was like the end of it. That the, was yeah. that was the final straw. Wait, so is he alive? Or? Oh yeah, he's, he's alive. alive. Oh, okay, no, he, lives at his, okay. he lives at his mom's house. Uh, that's and what the, he's that's retired. What... I just found out yesterday he's retired. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, he's okay. From never working. Ain't that a man for you? God yeah, damn no, it. Okay. Because he, he was in the military, yeah. quote unquote. Okay. As a, like a supply clerk. Right. Right. Because I. Found his records because he lied to me. So he told me he was a sniper. Oh my god, Carol! What? Oh no, I'm telling you, it's literally lie, 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 lie. Oh yeah. wow! Lie. I don't know. How did you end up in a marriage for somebody with knew, somebody? Well, I you know, you can, yeah. No, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I knew him from high school. Oh, okay. We went to prom. Yeah. Two years in a row. Was he your first? We, no, we didn't do it. We just were friends. <laughs> okay. yeah. We were like best, like we were like really close friends. Yeah, yeah. And then I hadn't, hadn't seen him in forever. Okay. And then I was like reconnected and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh and was shit, like, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I don't want dirty chat in my DMs trying to fucking kill me. Okay. <laughs> I have enough of that. <laughs> now, it. if he's going to be in my DMs trying to get with this, because, you know, I open my legs they to, might do that to too, all the losers. Know? Yes. All uh, Everybody that's been in this diamond mind right here <laughs> is all fucking losers that ain't shit. Color homeless. me deceased. You know, my, my, best, deceased. my best friends, they, they'll like joke with me because I, I fucked around with this guy one time who was on disability, but like, you weren't on disability last night, bitch. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to go, pick him, had to go pick him up. No, I, actually, this one was actually gay. Oh, he was oh. actually gay. He was actually this time. Most times it's married men, but you well, know. Well, I know. Anyway, that's, that's why. Why. Was he from this. America? Was he from Mexico? As you told us too that you <laughs> yes. like the women. Listen, we were members. They need a green card. <laughs> so this one was actually from here. Okay. Yeah. And you want to know what though? But you know why I'm like, why I'm such a fucking loser? Because I would definitely <laughs> let him get in this again. It's always the ones that don't got shit going on that just. Just, just rock your shit. You know what I mean? And they're called Mr. Wrong. Yeah, they are. Me and Mr. Wrong get along so, so good. good. Yes. Even though it's <laughs> okay, okay, so Shout out Mary bad. J. Blige. Oh, they're going to yes. fucking block my, my video now. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, okay, so you, you? <laughs> oh, That happened one time. I had Holly Tucker on the show. Yeah, what? <laughs> but, you know, wow. Shout out to her. She sang her song, and it was a beautiful song, but I did get copyrighted on that one. <laughs> so what does it's that mean? Good. They just send mute it? No, no, they I just take it out. I they can't take, take it down. Well, no, no, they kept it. I just can't make revenue off of it, which is fine. Oh, okay. yeah. I'd rather have the episode and for people to enjoy it. Are than, you monetized? Yeah. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> we don't we, discuss money here, Dominic. <laughs> I, I only know this because I've literally yes. I've been watching the trial they, oh, on okay. YouTube. Oh, so you learn the terms. I'm in the terms. Yes. I'm like super chat, super sticker. I was like, like monogamous. Yes. I will. I will say. I will say that I'm comfortable. How about that? But <laughs> you know what? Okay, so no, start, I'm just trying to get the info. I'm trying to get. Oh, how oh I, need I got to get you. I got, let's talk after this. Okay. Yeah. There's 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 things. Yes. But, but I do um, have to go to Waterburger right after this okay. <laughs> to get all that meat. You got some meat waiting for you at Waterburger. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it one of those roaches? Anyway, <laughs> so let's let's talk about um, starting the bloody happy hour podcast. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you guys obviously just got together. You both obviously love true crime or whatever. Whose idea was it to start that? Uh, what were you going to point out? No, okay. so, no. So we we were on a way to a conference. Okay. She. We were. Like you were telling me about some uh, one of the series, yeah. And so we started watching some, or I started listening to a series, yeah. And then she was like, "Oh, I've always wanted to do a podcast," and I was like, right. "Girl, I would love to do a podcast. Okay, okay. I would talk about whatever. This yeah. is, that sounds great." And then one of your friends said that she saw a post, yeah, that Rogue had posted about uh, n- looking for somebody looking in- interested in true crime, okay. And then you text me, ask if I would be interested in doing it, and I was like, "Girl." Hell yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. So I have loved true crime since I remember fifth grade. Tell me your, what you're named. Oh, uh, you're. My, yeah. So I remember being in fifth grade and realizing all my brothers are named after serial killers. I oh, got wow. Jeffrey as okay. in Dahmer, Dahmer. Kenneth uh-huh. as in McDuff, David as in Karish or Spence or, you know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe that's you just coincidence. Too. It's not like your parents actually did but that. But <laughs> the fact that I'm in fifth grade and I put that together. Uh, but okay. that's me and my mom. We just I remember watching the news with their scary yeah. movies and all that stuff. Yeah. So I've always oh, loved it. That's like right? a bad blowjob. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> but why would you? But then now, you were face. Okay, now I know you ain't shit. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I always it's like say, hit your face. I always say nobody can't compare to this, darling. But anyway. <laughs> she has been married for a while. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I don't, want him, I don't want him in my DMs trying to fight me, please. I can't fight, okay? He must be satisfied. 
so <laughs> anyway fifth grade <laughs> yeah it, yeah okay so anyways i've loved true crime so yeah. then i started a true crime book club here in waco a couple oh. years ago oh, okay. and we meet and we there's probably about 30 of us that we meet we love true crime yeah and i always said i wanted to turn that into a podcast oh got you and so it just happened a little bit <laughs> earlier than i really wanted yeah to. for sure and i didn't want to do it by myself okay because that's double the work right right yeah. mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> and then so when I was Caroline, so much fun. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, she. I was like, this bitch. She has no clue. She couldn't peep out Ted Bundy, her yeah, husband. Yeah. So no, I need her yeah. to read a so little bit she, more. She has to do like she has to be a part of all the context. Yeah, <laughs> and we have a blast together every time we're d- with each other. Right. So that's what the podcast is. And then we realized I was probably kidnapped. Oh wow! Really. Last week? No, in my whole lifetime. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> because my okay, your family always talked to you about all the stuff. Yeah. L- look up for strangers. Yeah. What? What did they? What? Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, I think Caroline's a little bit black. And okay. Her family's oh. not. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. then so, I'm not. And she's so sheltered. Yeah. So I, w- I said that she's actually probably a child of abduction, and her <laughs> parents, who she thinks are her parents, actually kidnapped her. Yeah, yeah. And so her, I think her real parents are still out there looking for her right now. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that, Caroline. Well, you know, it's okay. I've accepted the fact yeah. that I probably will never know my real parents. Yeah. So, but we're, so, but you're like set on the fact that Caroline is actually black and that she yeah, has black I'm parents. Black. I'm, I'm a like, black deep down in. I'm stuck in this. She's white, like white Creole. Body, yeah. Creole. Yeah, she's like Haitian Creole. I got this, yeah, I French. Got hair. I got the wide I got nose. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, ladies? I definitely want to dive more into the bloody happy hour. More about the content, who creates it, how you guys get everything, and your chemistry. Mystery, but we're going to take a quick break and when we get back we're going to learn more about the bloody happy hour podcast um all, i want to know your favorite true crime story i have some stories of my own as well and of course being super slatatious so make sure you guys stay tuned and we'll be back with the public affair hey guys i hope you're enjoying this really fun episode of the public affair with my guests from the bloody happy hour podcast before we continue i definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of the public affair this episode is brought to you by jr renovations with my girl juliana resendez she's a general contractor specializing in commercial business and residential homes. She's a true queen leveling the playing field in a male-dominated industry. She's going to let you know that she can pee farther than the men as well. I love that woman. Follow her on Facebook and Instagram at JR Renovations and call the number on the screen for your next consultation. My girl, Juliana, thank you so much for everything you do for the public affair. I truly appreciate you. Of course, the Juliana Ana Banda with Banda's Hauling Service. They run dump trailers. You fill it up and they haul it right away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of town. Maybe they can get rid of Dirty Chad, right? Okay, book now with the number on on the screen to Banda's Hauling Service. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Ooh, of course, to Embrace Fitness with my girl Lisette Luna and Amanda Switzer. They teach group fitness classes that are fun and dynamic, darling. They specialize in total body workout by Excolat and by Jackie and Zumba Step. Now, classes are Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., so contact them. Uh, you can also contact them to rent the building for parties and small events. Those girls are going to get you snatched for the summertime. Thank you so much to Embrace Fitness for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to my boy Eric Carrillo with Alan Samuels Dodge Chrysler jeep hit him up for your next new or pre-owned vehicle he even offers a 200 same day referral bonus if they buy from you that same day you get 200 dollars. imagine sending five people to him a month that's a thousand dollars my boy eric also helps out people with just an itn and even has a first time buyer program hit him up to find all about it on the number on the screen contact him to get your next pre-owned or new vehicle today darling even if you have no credit at all eric is going to put you in a ride my boy eric Carrillo, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair Ooh, of course the takisa palacios with Onisimo and Lupe Palacios. Oh, delicious. They provide delicious and affordable tacos for any event. Their meat choices include get ready, carne asada, pollo, chorizo, pastor y barbacoa. And don't forget the aguas frescas, the aguas frescas, because they truly are fresca. The flavor includes limonada, chata, piña, melon, jamaica, y tamarino también. Also, they provide all the plastic work for your party. And so book now with the number on the screen. It's Akisa Palacio, guys. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, the Oso's Barbecue with Oso and Juanita Garza. They specialize in smoked brisket, ribs, chicken links and more sides include Juana's famous potato salad side salad and beans hit them up for all open events such as quinceañeras weddings even divorce parties girl that's right <laughs> they're just not doing slut parties so they can't do this party okay <laughs> but now for catering thank you so much to Oso's Barbecue for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair and of course the Parkway National Insurance with my girl Nancy Polsini she provides insurance for all commercial trucks and tractor trailers she also provides for contractors as well as home and auto insurance call now for the number on the screen for all insurance inquiries y habla español 
también. Thank you so much to my girl Nancy Pulsini for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. All right, guys, I'm so excited to continue on with this episode with my friends from the Bloody Happy Hour podcast, April and Caroline. Let's get right back into it. Hey, guys, welcome back to this episode of The Public Affair. Before we left, we were just getting into how the girls started the Bloody Happy Hour podcast. April and Caroline are joining us today. And um, you know what? Who's in charge of creating the content? Behind oh. the public, uh, the public happy hour, <laughs> the, the bloody public, happy hour. The bloody happy hour. <laughs> yes. Um. Actually, we get together and we plan our month. Okay. And so we have a theme. Yep. And she chooses what she wants to talk about, okay. and I choose what I want to talk about. We have a theme, so if it's like, um, what do we do last month or this month? We're doing guilty, we doing? guilty, or guilty or innocent. Oh, okay. So I, I just, so I'm like, Casey Anthony, is she guilty yes. or innocent? That she's whatever. Yeah. So. I'm I gonna will literally like research, like yeah, we, yeah. we research our own thing and watch, read stuff, watch yeah, for stuff, sure. yeah. And then it's literally like a book report. Okay, so it's do you literally guys literally a book report? Do you guys have different opinions about that particular case? Um, Ooh. we're not at the end yet, so, oh, oh, okay. so a yeah, lot of times we do disagree on things, right? Um, <clears throat> but like another one would be like OJ. That's a big case. Right. I don't know if we'll do OJ, but uh-huh. I think it's just good sometimes we surprise each other. So yeah. she may not know the story I'm talking about, or I may not know the story she's talking yeah. about. So our reactions are authentic. Okay. That's yeah. That. So you guys the don't shock. rehearse, which is good. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which requires a lot of editing we're, sometimes yeah. for me. We're very, um, delayed fly by that. you know but I'm no, the same, I like procrastinating I'm the same bit. way on this one too though because I don't ever yeah. tell the get like I didn't tell you guys what we were going to talk about because I want like a natural authentic reactions I feel like that translate better with the um, with the audience yeah. don't you agree yeah. yeah yeah I mean we plan the month which right. sometimes I'm like do we need to plan the month we plan the month we plan the month yeah okay. conversation in my head right <laughs> you know what I definitely want to because I have some questions about some true crime stories about like Ooh, you know ones? with different opinions we're gonna I, I want you know for okay. sure yeah. You know what? Because, okay, I've been watching a lot of documentaries, all right? And yeah. so, you know, there, there's just some... Okay, like, I've been obsessed with the Scott Peterson. Mm-hmm. Like, because isn't he just one? fucking fine? The staircase one? No, no, he's the guy who chopped oh, up his Drew. wife. Well, literally Drew Peterson. No, Scott uh, Peterson. Scott Peterson. Like, I know, <laughs> yes. bitches. <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you. Okay, okay. There's so many Petersons. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. It's always somebody, a Peterson. Somebody today yeah. at work Never did date ask, a Peterson. Somebody yeah. today at work asked me about if I had watched the Drew Peterson, yeah. okay. the staircase, so that's what yeah. I mean. But okay. yeah, Scott No, Lacey, Scott Peterson, yeah, you know, she came up missing during Christmas or whatever. And then, you know, they had this whole... He recently came up for retrial. Yeah, he did, right? And I think they, like, did they take away his execution? Is that what's going on? Yeah, because he may get a new trial. Oh, wow. They're trying to get a new trial. But but see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, because I was watching it and I don't know if it's just the actor or just him, but he's just like fine as fuck. He is? He has not aged a bit. No, I would let him have all of this. Like, you know, know, poor family. I feel bad for the family. You know what I mean? Well, that was like like Ted Bundy whenever he, like, when he was in jail. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were obsessed with him. Right. Like, even as he was as fine. He, yeah. Yeah, fuck that. It's always the fine the, ones. That's the scariest one. <laughs> and you might have a chance because Scott Peterson's probably prison gay by now. Listen. Oh, absolutely. Listen. Oh, let me shut up. But, but just get some, just get blood tests. Well, that's he what's can, scary about yeah. these good looking, the good looking serial killers because okay. it's like they are so much, they're easy, more easily. They can charm you. They can charm you. Which is, you know, I was married to that one. Yeah. That's why you can't trust anybody. That's why I'm team side piece all fucking day. Uh You can't stay the night. You know what I mean? Get the fuck out of my house. That's it. (laughs) Do what you got to do. That one guy stole my fucking Nintendo. He stole my Nintendo. (gasps) Yeah. He's oh, recently pr- yeah. or a long no, time no, ago? No, no, this was like, like three the, years ago. The, I told the story the on the show. Where you- no, you <laughs> told switch. us the Las Vegas Nintendo, uh, the Las Wait. Vegas Oh, that story. guy who owes me money, yes. Yeah. I, but um, I don't speak with him. And then <laughs> this one guy smashed me and stole my Nintendo. It's not really a true crime was story. Was Nintendo that you that like had That is true blow crime. In? Did you the blow? Like when no, you no, the, the switch, switch, girl. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all know y'all know what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah. No, I, definitely, I definitely blew on him to make him work. <laughs> okay. okay <I laughs> but, but you know what? And what's crazy is that guy is actually in prison now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't want to say why because y'all are going to Google it. But, we sure will. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was like, oh shit. Oh, you know just what I mean? murdered two people. And uh, he's That's given it. me like this, this, the best piece ever. <gasps> and now he's so in prison. So you would go back. So we can never. I mean, I, I had to buy a new Nintendo, but I was kind of like to bait him in. 
<laughs> like, do you, to, do you need to steal this one? I got a new one, one just yes. in case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just to let you know, I got a new yes. one. You know what? Um, and Caroline, who Wait, are we texting over there while you're on no, the phone? No, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to find. Is his name? What's his, Gonzalez's name? I was trying to. Is it Gonzalo? No, is his name, oh my is God. His name Gabriel Gonzalez? <laughs> no, so I, I, just I, I, I couldn't. No, Gonzalo. It sounds I know, like I wish it was that. I was trying to look. I was trying to get his name real quick. You know what? The escaped convict. No, but he can come to my house. No, he is still escaped. You know. Is he really? So you do have a chance. He can come over. Listen, I'm all for it. Sometimes well, you gotta shut your fucking mouth. Like, right. um, what was that football? Aaron Hernandez? Oh, yes, remember him? Yes. Bay Bay. I, okay, as long as you're putting down the pipe and you're paying these fucking bills, I don't give a motherfucker. Okay, do whatever yes. you want. That's it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, poor thing, and he died. Anyway, okay, so, um, you know, what, what role do you guys say that you play, each of you, for the bloody happy hour? Um, I'm um, submissive. Like, how important oh, are your roles, I should say? Number one importance. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's really equal. Even, yeah. Okay. yeah. She does a lot of our like social media and like graphics oh, and yeah. design yeah. Oh, okay. and like all of our pictures and stuff that we put out. For sure. Um, I do a lot of the planning, the editing, and sometimes I'm mommy in a little bit. No, oh, okay. well, I need to be mom. I need to be <laughs> told what to so, do. Like she's got to be on that no, ass. But like, we yes. can switch roles. Sometimes I'm the dom. Okay. And but she's the she sub. mainly wears the strap on. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, we were mentioning during the break that you said that you would be lesbian for a little bit. Oh, yeah. She was going to be I literally one day. was. Yeah. The other day, I was really close because yeah. the bartender was really. So have you dipped in the lady pond once or twice? I mean, it's probably happened. <laughs> like, do you, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, that means it did happen. <laughs> so who's better in bed, women or men? I mean, it's, you can't compare. I mean, no. they sometimes the yeah. women know where they yes. like to go. Well, because I have to say, um, men have told me I've given them the best blowjob ever. <laughs> they, they have. Men have told, I've had a man sit there while I'm going down on him telling me that I was better than his girl. Yeah, I mean, and his wife. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know, know, you know your own yeah. anatomy. That's it. Right, I know what I'm doing here. Listen, I'm a pro. Yeah, and I have to, sometimes I got to give the bitches advice too. Oh, you know, what is the advice? Yes. Give us some blowjob advice. Oh, okay, real quick. Um, you know what? Twist, and you don't have to go down so far. I don't, I don't use. On. I don't, okay, sorry. I don't use hands. Um, <laughs> if yeah, to, I, here's just a little bit, of, and then we have to get back to y'all. Okay. Um, okay. See how we turn around. This is how we do our podcast. If they are not, if they are not circumcised. Don't pull it back. Let I've, it poke itself out. I don't, okay, that's not yes. an option. So I've never dealt with that. <laughs> but Move you will one day. Don't and pull it back. Don't pull it back. Okay, let, give let me it, another let piece. The, let the turtle poke its own head out. I've never seen yeah. a circum- <laughs> if they're not circumcised. If they're not circumcised. Oh, okay. Okay. I've yeah. actually never seen an uncircumcised. So yeah. they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Okay, no. but give, no. a, give me another piece, just because <laughs> I've never no hands. No oh, hands. No hands unless teeth. I don't use hands, darling. Well, obviously, you uh, don't yeah. want to use your teeth. All head and neck. Oh, my God. That's see, it. That's, see, and, my, I, and you have to, you can't have a... That's the most thing. That's the my least dad's gonna enjoyable be so proud. thing. It's a doable job. I love, I love it. Well, you would love it. <laughs> I love, it's like, it's my favorite. You know what well, I mean? Well, it should be. And I will tell you, too. I will tell you, too. The best head that I've ever had was from a straight man. Well, see. Absolutely Is was from really a straight, straight man. Is he really straight? Yes. He is because we're we are yes it, he's it goes into married. a different subject. Y'all were plastered or what? <laughs> no, no, he was just probably, he, he's was he he's was probably married. Oh, he, he was married. Four kids. He was married. I don't know how many kids that excuse me that he got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't give a fuck because don't, don't bring nobody to my house. How many but people are we, living we, under just, this? Mm. Oh, girl, please. We, that's oh. a whole different show. Anyway, I <laughs> okay. But I, I will say just for just to put on record, best head I've ever got. Wow. Absolutely, without Not a doubt. Shocked. I even told him and he was shocked and I said, yes, yeah, I don't know. You've done that before. And that's what I'm saying. You can't trust me. You've done that shit before, bro. Yes. I know you have because that bro. was too good. Yeah. You know what I mean? You do that don't a fuck lot, with me. I'm not fucking. St- I'm not special. I'm not the only one, all right? Anyway, we're getting off track. Um, so do you guys... That's what we do. <laughs> that's what we, we get do. everybody off track. And that's why you guys have to check out the bloody happy hour you can stream it on all streaming platforms because these women are fucking amazing, okay? Um, you know what? Um, you know, you guys mentioned you, got, you have to work a lot together Sometimes you're having to be the mommy or whatever. Do you guys find obstacles in working together sometimes? Um, sometimes her ADHD. It's real bad. Yeah, <laughs> like you have to like punch her in her face sometimes and be like, bitch, I need you to get on track. Oh, right? it's, it's mainly Actually, whenever... but she likes it. Like yeah. she, she, if I have to slap her in the ass mm-hmm. yep. or if I have to say, come on, bitch, yeah. she like actually likes <laughs> yeah, it. Yes, yes I sure. do. I do. I, li- I need to be told what to do and okay. I like to be told what to do. I like to be bossed around. Okay. Like, 
In bed too or not? Nah? Uh, 100%. Oh, absolutely. I love yes. getting fucking choked in bed and slapped in the face. It's my favorite. Yeah. Well, girl, what? You okay. Know, Ain't nothing like a I've good ass whooping while you're getting fucked. choking thing yet, but I mean, maybe because I haven't tried. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm we're both procrastinators too. Okay. And so like that kind of makes it hard. Sometimes we're like barely like got our stories ready and we got to record in 20 minutes. Okay, well, I got you. Well, and I, I, ADHD, it just, you know, you get, I think I work best last minute and yeah. I obviously have other things that I do too, like watch, slutty things. watch court. Like, well, I do slutty things, but I also watch court and I'm always in, tr- in Can court I just say trial. that as women, I just love how open-minded y'all are with the jokes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you guys just don't get offended and I just fuck Listen, with it. When I went on that date last week, I talked about how I was trying to poke a hole in that damn condom. <laughs> oh, no, she see. actually had a great date last night. Did you really? I really last did. week. Did you put yeah. out? Oh, well, yeah, but I, yeah. I told him way out. No, 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 no. I told him I was like, you, you're not spending the night because mm-hmm. he came from Dallas. Oh, ooh. Oh, that, that means he wanted to. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to show you a picture. Okay. Right? Yes. For you're real. literally gonna come in your pants. <laughs> He's probably gonna be like, "That's the one that gave me the best blowjob ever." Okay. I didn't even get the blowjob. I was like, "No, no talk about me." Oh. I'm at Kevin girl. You know we gotta have a talk. Actually, you might <laughs> no, need no. to. You know, let me tell you something. He's also got a profile on Grinder. <laughs> just, just for the record, <laughs> just for the record, and this is why my straights love me because I will take that shit to the grave. Uh, I take that shit to the fucking grave. I'll deny it to the death of me. Cheers to, to deny, that. Deny, deny, deny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. Mm. Oh, my God. That shit right there. Woo. All right. You know what? Um, you know, I, I kind of want to talk to you real quick about um, what is, do you guys have like a favorite true crime story that you guys just love kind of like reading, seeing the same documentary over and over and all that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I have to think about it. So I'm you not going to lie. I've listened to, I don't know why, mm. Ariel. Castro, which is the guy in Cleveland that kidnapped oh. the girls mm. and held them hostage for like 17 I can't remember, 17 oh, wow. years. Okay. He was from Puerto Rico, I think. He's the uh, biggest piece of shit. He's yeah. the biggest Esper. piece of shit. We're pieces he of would, shit. Yes. He would he would he <laughs> would kidnap his daughters, use his daughters to kidnap these girls. Oh, Anyways, wow. okay. I think we did a two parter on there, but I will go back and listen to that story or anytime the documentary is on, mm-hmm. I will listen to it. And I don't know why. Yeah, it's yeah. just a crazy, I need to look that crazy one up. How about Ariel Castro? Whenever Ariel Castro. I talked about how I dated a guy named Justin Castro. Oh, yeah. And then we realized <laughs> that his mom is in your book club. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> how was that? <laughs> she loves, I was yeah. like, she's coming to the live show, okay. actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do, you, do you have a favorite true crime story? It, it might be, this is so lame, but it might be Ted Bundy. Yeah. Really? Only okay. because. Cliche, cliche. Only because <laughs> I obviously knew about him, but I didn't know all the ins and the outs yeah. and like how everything. So whenever I did that case, because it was like a two-parter episode, it was like, right. I think it was our first one over here. But there was so, it was so interesting uh-huh. because it it was just like, how did he get all these people to let their guard down? How did right, he do all right. these things? How did he it's like? It's a man. It's a man. They amaze you. The, yeah. yeah, they okay. amaze it's us all the time. I think that time. was the most, the one that was the most like, and he and he escaped twice, and yeah. he did. I mean, wow, because he's brilliant. Yeah, because sure. he was smart. He was Calculated, charming. Yeah, he and and you don't think you, even after he like even after he murdered all these people, I was like. Did he really? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we we okay. Like, are, you, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> we talk a lot about race on the podcast okay. just because she's white, I'm Mexican and black, and okay. like so we got all races covered. Yeah, we sure. talk about all religions, so we it's like free for all in there. Yeah. So we talk about when you're white Protestant male, yeah. like people never think you're guilty right, about right. anything, which is why Scott Peterson's probably going to get another trial okay. and like, I was probably like, going to get out. Right. Because he can come right to my he's house. great looking, yes. and he's white, yeah. and he's maybe a Protestant. I mean, yeah. it's just. But those are the ones that always are the murder, are the serial killers. Those yeah. are the ones we should be the sca- scaredest right, of. Sure. You know, <laughs> I think it's just if they're just good looking. No, yeah. it's just that you just can't. That's what I'm saying. You guys can't just trust nobody. No, that's let them, no. Let them give the peace, and that is it. Move the fuck on. I know. Scott, Peter, Scott Peterson had the side piece. Nothing ever heard. 
Huh? Side piece, side piece. Amber. Team, team side piece. Amber Fry. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, Amber Listen, Fry. Don't <laughs> name, nobody name, don't trust anybody named Amber. Amber Heard. Amber <laughs> Fry. Strike okay, two. Amber Fry. The, it's them Ambers, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Listen. You know, you, you made a, a good point because you mentioned how you guys are like mixed culturally and everything. Yeah. Is there anything off limits uh, in terms of like the stories that you guys tell and everything? No. No? Not yet. <laughs> no i mean i think yeah. we've we've talked about every religion so yeah. it's not like we favor one no 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 yeah. we've talked and because every religion that's the whole point is like every religion well, got crooked people of, yeah right. every yeah. race oh, yeah. got and a crazy lot of stuff people is based on how they grew up if they some of them grew up in like a super religious family yeah for sure and they're all like some yeah. of them are like exposed to pornography when yeah. they're young. Us Catholics ain't shit. I'm Catholic, girl. Oh, Catholic. We, we, just oh, we just talked about Catholics. Yeah, we just talked about Catholics because I was Catholic shit. and I was like, well, yeah. I don't know. That, it's, that pastor, Catholics priests are like yeah. doing little boys. Like, I mean, oh, I yeah. wasn't a little boy, but I definitely slept with a Catholic priest. Oh, <laughs> every time we talk to him, we get a little bit closer oh. to the preacher. Yeah, okay. Now we know he's Catholic. Oh, oh, sure was that better? Was that a better? Some, that was better. <laughs> no, it's cool. You know what? Um, but don't, but don't you feel because like okay, so you made a joke earlier that Ted Bundy like did he really do it? You know what I mean? Don't you feel like? Do you feel like some of them ever deserve a pass? Like one one in particular that I wanted to bring up was um, Jody Arias. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And wasn't <laughs> no. okay? So no. obviously, th this is what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Wasn't she allegedly being abused by her husband? And don't you think that makes you snap at some point? And then you know what I mean. Yeah, but I think the story. Okay, so she she murdered her husband in the shower. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she was telling everybody I was being domestically abused. You know, whatever. And I I just finally had fucking had it. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? And yep. so the, everybody has a breaking point. Now I'm not excusing that you don't want to kill anybody. Obviously, you know what I mean. But do you ever deserve like? Okay, maybe she was getting her ass beat. You know, maybe she was being you know, oh. mistreated. I think the evidence. Week. But we did that last week with Andrea Yates. But she wasn't getting her ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> What? That's what, no, yeah. I'm saying yeah. that we gave Andrea Yates a little bit of a pat. We oh, we I did yeah. it. We okay, sympathize okay. with Andrea. Lee. I sympathize. So it does, we think about the whole situation, right. and if we right. think you're a piece of shit, you will know on that our stories. If we give you a little bit, we saying that sometimes we give you a little bit of grace, yeah. which we did. Andrea Yates drowned fi all five of her kids. Yeah, oh yeah, I just she does not no. deserve grace, right? Right, but, but she actually did. Like I, if you hear the whole story, oh wow, and mental yeah. health and Jody Arias, she's crazy. I don't. I think she <laughs> made the shit plan up. all that shit, and yeah. she was not. I think she beat the shit out of the, her partners, probably. Uh, okay, <laughs> but with Yates. I think that she just had, she just, um, she Psychotic. had mental issues and okay. she had been in a, like, like, like a psych war. I don't yeah, know. For sure. A thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. So many times she had, like, she was chewing her fingers off. She right. was saying she needed help. She was like screaming for help and right. then she wasn't given help. So do you yeah. think that that's a pass for what the, like drowning her kids or? I think it contributed because she right. was literally, I mean, she was, she does, and she right. could be released right now and she's choosing not to because right. I guess she knows that she would do something. I'm like, you can't forgive anything that she did, but right. it's, I feel oh. like. So did the courts kind of find her like innocent? Like, okay, you she were fucking crazy. Insanity. Not wow. guilty well, by reason of insanity. Story. Okay, but but she's being locked up by choice. She's in a um like a, like a mental yeah. Wow. She's in Kerrville oh, wow. Kerr uh, State Hospital. Okay, so okay, so yeah. do you think that her her mental disabilities? I felt like her mental disabilities overcame okay. like any kind of like yeah. a murderous in her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So do you think that... I don't think she's evil. I think she just is Right, Ill. right. So in your own... Yeah, so in your own opinion, based off of that, do you think that she should be released? Or like, you know, free to live another life and try over? Like a, a, a second chance. Yeah. Like, what if she goes and creates more kids and then drops them? She, but see, there's the thing. Yeah. Like, if you stay... If she stays on her medicine... Mm. It's, yeah. But see, that's, that's why, the contingency. That's why true crime is so great, though. Because there's all these factors that we that, yeah. that play into these stories. You know what I mean? Like, with her. You know what I mean? Like, no, of course, I don't... Fuck you for joining your five kids. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But, but it's, it's like, like, what I, was going on I, I, inside? I don't yeah. feel like she's a murderer mm -hmm. and that she's going to go and, like, shoot or stab people. Right. But... She has to stay on her medicine okay. in order to live her life like a normal person. But right. she obviously and the best place for her to do that is in an institution. And she obviously sure. has to know something 
in her head to want to stay there wow. or to yeah. think she needs to stay there. Cause she's loosened now. Okay. But I think if she got out, she would think she was cured, get off the medicine and then go South. Mm. So I do, I think she should be Which killed, like, why would they executed. Even? No, yeah. but she needs to stay where she is because okay. we can't trust her to stay on our medicine and go to right. counseling and everything. I mean, if she did that to five and that's such a good way to put yeah. it, obviously. Yeah. And I, I mean, mean, if you did that to five kids, you do that to anybody. I mean, especially yeah. in your state of mind. five kids, yeah, you know what I mean? And you for ate that your finger. I mean, oh my God. ate her finger. Like, I don't, go but, get some bread, go know, get because, like, a, like a hamburger or something. Yeah. Get your own finger. <laughs> you know, I watch all these true crime stories though. And it's like, God, some of these like women or even men, it's sometimes like they're, ju- they're just yeah. driven to the point of insanity, if you will. Yeah. And like, no, it's so, it's so hard to like touch into because I don't think killing anybody is anything that we are like given a pass to do. That's inexcusable. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you yeah. don't have the right to take somebody's life. But God, like what happens behind the scenes and for it to fucking happen? You know what I mean? Well, and that brings up to me right now the mm. shooting we just had oh, in okay. Valdi. Yeah. Right? It's a horrible story. But do we know everything that shooter has been through supposedly it's abusive Mm -hmm. childhood drugs abuse constant bullying to the fact that where he had to drop out of school Mm. and that he was cutting himself then he had his identity issues Mm. no excuse for what he did at all fuck him but yeah it is (laughs) fuck him but like is that mental health is that like is that school like not doing like not targeting bullying like Mm -hmm. we should like it can it's just crazy yeah. that well, i because so many stories like we've only hear about the murder but do we hear about everything around it okay. and so now that i read so many of these stories it's like oh my goodness this murder these murders 21 of them right mm. but why and then what made him do that like mm. what was what did he what go triggered. through? Yeah. Mm. And so that's why when we do these stories, we go from childhood yeah. to adolescence to teenage, because most of the time, besides BTK killer, and besides you can go back and you can, s- it'll make sense. Right. It's like, oh, yeah. well, you know, yeah. it was bound to happen. Well, because she was texting me even the other day and just was like, kind of telling me what her thoughts were. And I was like, there's several people who have, abusive parents who have been bullied been bullied yeah. and they don't go and shoot up schools right right yeah, yeah. I, just, I feel and like, like i'm not taking up for them i'm just i'm just you're, I'm you're just, saying, what the facts are gonna be it, later I'm on okay. figure okay. it out you're, you're saying like okay because nobody did anything preemptively for him that's what ultimately led is that, like, is that what you guys are saying? Or? I'm like you. I, I think it was underlying mental right. health issues that Anger, were never addressed. Aggression, trauma. He had issues right, with right. his family. He moved and lived with his grandparents. And I haven't looked at it much because I've been in court. But um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just I, I don't I don't know. And nobody knows. I just, because yeah, I just it think, doesn't make sense to us because we have day, normal brains. Right. At the yeah. end of the day, the. What he did was inexcusable. It was. It was, it was inexcusable. Yeah, I mean, and and like, shout, you know, while we have this platform to do so, just yeah. you know, prayers out to the families yes. that are affected by that. And and I, you know, it's been a lot of my coworkers at work have been talking about that particular story. And I typically like to stay out of those because it's just like I can't imagine. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. Yes, like, yes. oh my goodness! Like if uh, I but, work at a school district and it's right. like I scanned my badge and it's like you you go into your school differently. Mm-hmm this week yeah. and kids pick up their kids i mean parents picked up their kids from school differently right. you know because of what happened and it's does it's it, just horrible and it's yeah. tragic i wonder all as, an, as an educator for you does that change like do you do you kind of fear going into the next school year i don't think well no uh, no but you know mm. what i walked out the back door last yesterday yeah and I never walked out the back door and somebody was coming in and we both double clicked on the gate oh, to wow. make sure those locked. And But it was like n- neither one of us said anything. Right, right. But that's how we got in yeah. is through the back door. Oof. And so you don't you <clears throat> don't think about that when you get up in the morning. Right. Because then you'd have anxiety all I mean, day. You never you, you always I never think it's going to happen to me. I never think my yeah. kid's going to get, right, get kidnapped. Sure. I never I mean, think I'm going to, I never think somebody's yeah. going to get yeah. like, you just don't ever think that. And right, then right. it happens. You're like, Oh my gosh, how did this happen to me? How right, Gavin sure. Tito, you know, like all these people yeah. who like, 
And you wouldn't think him that got bullied in high school would go shoot at an elementary. Right, yeah. You know? That's Maybe. what was puzzling to me. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I first There's heard about it, no, I was like, at elementary school, and then yeah. I was like, oh shit, Sandy Hook, and that was the first thing that came to mind, and I was like, oh gosh, yeah. that was the guy who was older, so like, mm. oh my gosh, he's older. Ugh, awful, wow, awful, awful. And, yeah, and, and God, we can die, like, just, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that shooter, whoever disposed of that piece of fill. Yeah. Hats off to him and prayers to the family and everybody yeah. that was affected by that because that is yeah. just tragic. Um, but, okay, guys. Um, the, a bloody happy hour. <laughs> okay. um, so you guys, yeah, we do have to wrap up here in a minute, but um, you guys have a live show coming up. Is yes! that correct? Yes. First of all, congratulations to you guys. Honestly, I think that is so huge and monumental for a podcast to be doing a live show, especially a local one. Thank um, you. Not anything that I've ever wanted to dive into just yet. I know the, the idea has been presented to myself. I just, not right now. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know yeah. how to do it. But I, are you guys excited for that? Like, Yeah, I mean, we don't really know what we're doing, but we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a blast. We're like, kind of fly by our seat. Yeah, yeah, that's, I was like, I kind of feel like I do my best yeah. work. Right. <laughs> we sold out in like, less than 24 hours and uh -huh. then people are like mad because they can't come but we're, uh, it'll okay. be something that we'll do in the future right yeah <clears throat> um but does that we're mean excited. i can't come does that mean actually I you should be our mc oh darling yes <laughs> you should be our dj uh, we, yes, we could we, we could you talk should about be it. our mc we could talk about it for sure yeah. i would love to that, that, yeah, because it's you. a familiar yeah. voice yeah. familiar voice yes, it's it's happening. Oh, it down. you, know you should think about it pray about it let's I'll, listen, you I don't, don't turn down work. It, I don't do turn it. down work, okay? <laughs> yes. And in, in lieu of um, revenue, you guys can pay me by something else. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I'm okay. going to go be paid well, for it, but I'll find a <laughs> prank for you. Can you teach us how to do a blowjob, and then we'll practice it on you? Deal. <laughs> no, you I can't practice it on me. Come on. I don't want no women's lips on this beautiful gold mine of uh, just diamonds and Schrazi crystals. And, okay? Uh, just, uh, like, like, no, okay. no women you know lips. Dang it. So I can't show you Caroline's boobs. I won't get it for you. It's not going to do it for me. Damn it. Carolyn, maybe one of your side people. What about the ex-husband? Well, Why do the DMs? I mean, uh, <laughs> My type. He's retired, so <laughs> I think he likes to leave him. Yeah, he don't, he don't work, so that means he can get away. I'm, oh, I'm for in. sure. Okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> that, probably blowjobbing right now. No, nah, do I have to pick him up? That well, she does have a little okay. sketchy story uh, about that, too, that's uh, going to come out. Yeah, so we can't share it on the public affair? Real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't. What's which story? It was. Remember our gay trainer friend that fell oh, like that oh, dirty yeah, chad. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Was hitting on him and oh, was like wow. trying to make Caroline like make gave Caroline medicine to like go to sleep because okay. he really wanted to allegedly, get at him. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. before allegedly. Before I get sued, okay. <laughs> and so, and so, that's I guess really all it is. That's really all it is. Yeah, and we so don't did, know if there was any actual, you know, there was yeah. no actual factual. Like so, but they, he, you know, he did like butt stuff. Oh, girl. oh, girl! I'm so sorry to tell you. Did you do a strap on? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Wait. 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 While y'all playing, though, I always tell my straight friends, "Get your ass ate out." Like for sure. That's not gay. Oh, if no, a woman, no, yeah, yeah, that's not gay. No, that's not yeah, gay. Yeah, that's yeah, not gay. Yeah. It's hepatitis C. No, but, but you'll be all right. You, you can get rid of that one. You'll be all right. Okay. And if your breast thinks so does this ass, so you get sensitivity down there. I, I tell them, no. Okay. I tell my friends okay. all the time. Yo, while you guys are fucking playing, there's nothing like getting your ass ate out. Let your fucking girl. I said, girls, girls, you got homework tonight. Eat your man's ass. And men, let her do it. I'm telling you, guys, please listen to me. I'm real drunk and real on some pills. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe if no. I really liked the guy. Yes. Maybe if I like actually loved the guy. Does Hep C called liver failure? I, I mean, know. probably. Cirrhosis of the liver. I I'm mean, not trying to have cirrhosis of the liver. I think you can get rid of that, right? You can get I rid of Hep C, so we good. Right? The amount of alcohol yeah. that would do that, but I'm not sure. Listen, ladies, I really enjoyed having you guys onto the public forum. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. But, you know, the Bloody Happy Hour, where can we stream you guys? Where can, are, we, are you guys on YouTube now? Is, is we that... are now on YouTube. Okay. That's not our first platform, but right. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, we're just, we don't know what to do <laughs> when we're on video. Yeah. We don't know what to do. Do I look at the camera? Do I yeah. look at you? <laughs> Caroline took off her shirt one time. Oh, sweet. Well, it was changing, and so it was, yeah. maybe it was accidentally caught on film. So, so it's YouTube kind of like porn. the behind the scenes, like yeah. OnlyFans-ish. So do you, I guess. Um, OnlyFans-ish. <laughs> so yeah. you guys probably promote more of the streaming. I've only showed my lips once. We're a right. podcast first. Yeah. You but we're are, also a podcast that has video. That has That's video how as we well. say okay. it, yeah. So you guys can stream them, of course, like they said, on um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere you can get podcasts. Anywhere, anywhere you can get yeah. just in a podcast. And, and you guys have got to check it out because these ladies, if you love them on The Public Affair, you're going to love the the Bloody Happy Hour, honestly. You guys you do great are. work. Sorry. <laughs> no, truly, I really enjoyed having you ladies on to the show. What's next for the Bloody Happy Hour podcast? We got the live show coming up. And are you guys continuing to make this long term or... 
Yeah, I mean, we were actually surprised we made it this long. <laughs> we didn't skip a week. Yeah. We're still having fun. And uh-huh. as long as it's fun for us, right. we're going to just continue to do it. Right. Um, and I think we'll just continue to have live shows. We want to grow. We right. want to grow and we want to grow. We know we're in about 10 different countries right now. Sweet. Congrats, and we just want to continue to grow. Yes. That's it. Well, congratulations to the both of you, honestly, but with the, all the success that the Bloody Happy Hour is continuing to garnish, you guys definitely deserve it. You ladies are very talented. Caroline, I can tell you're the drunk as fuck over there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure bones. out, oh, are we the successful? <laughs> I th- I th- you know what? Yes. You guys are doing really well. You you're know really what? making me feel like I'm living the best life. And I'm, I feel you like know what? I'm I, this is how we know right that here. we're famous. Can we tell you the story? <gasps> we were at a, po- I was leaving Salty Dog and somebody called my name and they were like, Hey, bro, I'm a big fan of Bloody Happy Hour. Yeah. So then my head was this big, and I was like, Sweepy, call me a car because I cannot even drive home. I'm way too famous. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were at a Cinco de Mayo party, and I was talking, and somebody recognized my voice. Oh. And I was like, "That's uh, we're basically uh, Beyonce and J-Lo. Th- there you we go. were Bruh. very okay. famous. And they were like, <laughs> and then I went and I got real cocky and I went and wrote a letter and put it in my neighbor's <laughs> mailbox. But you gotta go listen to one of our episodes yeah. to get yes. the whole story because um, we do tell some crazy stories. Oh shit! Okay, well make sure you guys check out the Bloody Happy Hour on Spotify, Apple, anywhere you guys can get podcasts, <laughs> YouTube, everywhere, ladies. Thank you guys again so much for being a part of this really Thank fun episode. I'm so happy that we finally got to coordinate. I'm going to order my water burger now. Okay, order your water burger where I do my ads. Okay. Don't <laughs> get you. mad at me and yell at me. Thank you guys again <laughs> so much for tuning into this episode of The Public Affair. Please don't forget to check out The Bloody Happy Hour anywhere you guys can get podcasts. Before we go, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode, of course, is brought to you by Elite Barbershop and my boy Sid Rodriguez, located on Hewitt Drive. You can call the number on the screen or book the or download the Cut app to book your next appointment. Walk-ins are welcome as well. They got Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Isai, and Clint over there making you look super scrumptious. Uh, Sid made sure I look scrumptious for this episode, darling. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of the Public Affair Elite Barbershop. You guys are the GOAT. Of course, the Soko Soccer Academy, my boy Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez, located at 3304 Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training. They also have elite skills training to make your kid a superb star athlete, darling. They have open play on Mondays and Wednesdays for ages 16 and older at 830 with Marl, a.k.a. Saliban. I call him the silly buns because he's small and aggressive. And it's only $5 to play. Follow on Facebook at Soka Soccer Academy and on Instagram at Soka Soccer 254. Of course, the Pollo Box and Audio, my boy Jeffrey Monreal, home for all your LED needs and auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom stubble for enclosures and much more. Definitely a jack of all trade and has pimped my ride out from top to bottom. Your one stop shop to get everything done in one roof. My boy Jeffrey, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair with Pollo Box and Audio. And of course, we can't go on with out thinking. Fat boy Michelada and Botana with my boy Junior Banda who provides the best Michelada and Botana plates for yourself or for a party. Menu of ton of different items including Botana bowls, chamoy, pickles and more. Oh, it's scrumptious. You ladies got to roll around in it. Locally operated so make sure you get the best and not the rest. Follow on Facebook and Instagram at Fat Boy Michelada and Botana place your orders now. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, thank you to the Bloody Happy Hour ladies for coming on. Amanda Amanda, psh, April and Karen, I've been wanting to call you Amanda. I don't know why I've been wanting to do that. April and Caroline, thank you ladies so much. I don't got forget, my water burger, bitches. Don't that, worry. Okay. <laughs> and don't forget, darling, to always keep it between us. Mm. <laughs> Bye, Bye <y'all>. yes. <laughs>